students. Today we're going to practice using dialogue and inner thoughts in our fiction writing. Dialogue means when characters are speaking to each other and inner thoughts are the thoughts that characters have. I'm going to look at my story arc to see where I am in my story. Rose's mom talks to her. Rose admits that she is afraid to ride again. Rose's mom tells her to try going on shorter rides. So I was on this part and Rose's mom had not given her this advice yet, so I'm about to write about this today. A few days later, Laura noticed that Rose hadn't gone writing at all. Laura walked into Rose's room and saw her reading a book. She sat down on the bed and Rose closed her book. Sweetie, is something wrong? Laura asked. So here's some dialogue. And I want you to notice that I put quotation marks around the part the person is speaking. I noticed that you haven't ridden Breezy in a few days. So here's some more dialogue. And I put the quotation marks around the part where Laura is speaking. Rose took a deep breath. She bucked and I'm just so scared to ride again. Rose blurted out as a tear rolled down her cheek. So this is what Rose is saying. She bucked and I'm just so scared to write again. And the quotation marks start when she begins speaking and end when she is done speaking. I see, said Laura. You know how I go hiking every weekend? I also like you to notice that every time a new character is speaking, I go to a new line and I indent. Rose replied. Well, before you were born, I broke my ankle while I was hiking. I didn't hike for about six months after that. Finally, a friend of 
mine convinced me to go on a short hike with her. The next time I went on a slightly longer hike. I added a few minutes each time until I was comfortable going on my long hikes again. So this whole time Laura is speaking, put the quotation marks when she began spoke, speaking and then I put them at the end when she's done speaking. Our next Rose is speaking so I need to go to a new line and indent. Really? Said Rose. Yes, Laura replied. It's normal to be scared after you get hurt. Just Take small steps and soon you won't be afraid to ride again. Maybe you can go on a 10 minute ride near our house today. Laura's speaking this whole time. So I need to make sure I put quotation marks. I'm going to stop there for today, students. So today I would like you to spend 30 minutes writing and make sure you have lots of dialogue and inner thoughts. Okay, bye.